Hello guys and welcome back to the bench and today we're going to go over how I ultrasonically clean my airbrushes and my gumpla parts before I uh, paint them and uh, for this test we are going to be going over the VCU Tech ultrasonic cleaner I got this one on Amazon obviously with all the Amazon tape and free listening music all over it no it does not play music it's not a boom box anyway um, this is, uh, I picked this one for a reason, and it has three features that I wanted. It's large capacity, it has heat, and it degasses. Those are the three biggies that I wanted. Uh, even though heat you can get away with uh, by pouring hot water in uh, when you go to clean. Um, but usually when you get to a degas function, the heat function is going to be probably a part of it anyway. I got this for 80 bucks on sale. I think it's currently at 100 but I had a gun. It... I had to get to that price point to get the three features that I wanted and to be a large capacity. Um, so let me go ahead, pause the camera, and I'll pull this out, put it on the bench, and show you the actual unit. Okay, here is the unit, unboxed and plugged in. Um, I'll put my hand here so you guys, there you go. It always uh, defaults to 179 seconds. Um, is your power setting the gassing and heating and there's your three levels um, I think it's for the heat levels but uh, like I said you can also avoid the heat altogether by uh, just putting hot water in it but uh, it comes with a heat feature at this price point and size you're gonna get that automatically anyway whether you use it or not I still wanted the size and I still wanted the degassing feature I'll tell you what the degassing feature is in one second let me show you the capacity and why I do this at this capacity is because I had a mini one. Let me show you guys. This is the other one I had. And this thing is tiny. It barely fits an airbrush. <laughs> and uh, it only does half a runner. By a runner, I mean when I went to clean my parts. It just all, it just, it took like 10 times of washing with this tiny thing. Uh, to give you a price point of how big this actually is, this is the basket that was inside it see it so this basket I'll show you right there I mean it's just it's just tiny and it just it just barely vibrated it barely did what it's supposed to it just has an on off feature that's all it's got so uh, I've outgrown that and that's why I jumped ahead to this I it always seems like everything I buy is a hundred bucks but when you want certain features nothing you can do it's, it that ends up being the price point if you use it like I do once a week every other week uh, at least once a month when I clean out my airbrushes it's it's beautiful. It's worth it. Just like the hundred dollar paint shaker, which I use every day. So uh, you get your money's worth when it's a product that's quality and you're going to use it every day. Um, and I'll show you another reason for the size besides putting all the parts in is I build a lot of car kits. And um, have you guys seen my? You guys have seen my uh, stash of cars before in the background of my video. Sometimes sometimes I'll show you. Um, if you're going to clean the body, I can just dunk the whole body right into this thing and it fits. That was nowhere near fitting in the other one at all. So uh, it's a good feature to have if you're going to build a lot of cars. You know, I mean, uh, it's great. It just gets in and out of all the nooks and crannies. A little even better than when I used to wipe it with alcohol. And uh, that's that. Now, you don't have to use the basket all the time. You can actually just throw everything right in if you want. I might even do that to show you also. But the body that comes in handy, particularly when it hold pieces and get all around underneath. Um, you don't so much need it with the airbrush, but with the pieces, it comes in really handy. So um, let's go ahead and show you some of the features and show this thing in action. Uh, here we go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to, I use distilled water. It helps a lot. You don't have to, you just use it from the faucet. But... I paid, I think I pay uh, 99 cents for this, so yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, there's a minimum line, you can see it in the back, and a maximum line. So we can just pour a bunch of this in here. That's good, minimum. We'll save some for the other parts. We're going to do two different things. As I walk away from the mic, we're going to do two different things. I have a microphone hooked up for this because the vibration interfered with the last video and we pulled it down. So that's why I'm talking back here. Okay, so what we can do first off is degas it. Now what degassing does 
is it removes all of the little gas bubbles that are trapped in most uh, faucet water, even bottled water. You always have some gases. And what happens is it forms a lot of bubbles. And the bubbles will actually interfere with the cleaning of your products. The bubbles get in the way because if there's a bubble around all of this that you want to clean, nothing's getting in there. That's just air. You need the liquid to stay smoothly against the product. And for that to happen, you've got to get rid of the bubbles. Degassing removes the bubbles. They call them gas bubbles. Say so removing the bubbles from the water, getting you a perfect, better clean. That's why this degas function was so important. Now you hit it. I'll put my hand here so you guys can see it. It's going to go on. You can see it vibrating. It's going to do its thing, and then it's going to turn off. See, it shuts off. Then it's going to come on again. There it goes. And it does that through this entire process of 260 seconds, as you can see it. I'm using my hand there because the light is reflecting on it. There it goes. It goes off again. There's a little piece of hair in here. Let's get that out of there. There we go. And there it goes. So we're going to run the, this right through and let it do its thing. I can even heat it up. You pick the heat levels, level two. It'll heat the water. And it will degas at the same time. And there it goes. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this run. I can even put the lid on it to keep the air out of it. And um, get it so you guys can hear me speaking here on the microphone. So I'm going to pause the camera. We're going to let this run its course. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll clean the airbrush first. And then we'll clean some gumpla pieces. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. Here we are. Welcome back. Seven. Six, five, four, we're down, we're counting down. The top's all steamed up from the heat. And there it is, we have reset, we're ready to go. Okay, now, we'll leave the heat in there. Yeah, it's getting a little warm. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to dismantle one of my airbrushes. So let's go ahead and dismantle the Patriot. All right, a little awkward because I'm standing up doing this, but hey, we're gonna clean this. We're gonna clean the needle. All right, we're not going to clean the air valve. So take the air valve out. If you need to use a little plier, be careful and do it right here. And that's the air valve. All right, put this aside. Everything else can come out. Now with this basket, it's a little large. So some of these small pieces are going to go through. So get yourself a little basket, which I happen to have from the older obsolete um, cleaner all right so here we go we're going to take this out actually you can leave the screw on the screw is for the holding the needle in let's take out the entire spring mechanism right here i'll do a video on uh, dismantling one of these things one of these days here's a little lever that holds the trigger against where it's got to go all right, push this in here. I mean, no big deal if it falls in because you just take it out with a with a tweezer. We're going to take the front off. Don't worry about any of the fittings. They'll be fine inside here. Let's show you. Here's the needle. It's a, it's a beautiful setup, the uh, Patriot. It's a double needle. You don't have to take off the front guard, I don't think, for this at all. But like I said, even if it falls through this, we're fine. That's the whole body right there. Perfect. All right. I mean, I could throw, like, to show you, I could just throw this right in. We even throw in the spring. But uh, you don't have to put the spring mechanism in, personally. Eh, it doesn't matter. Well, uh, it looks really clean and new, so we're going to leave this alone. But we want the main body. We want the needle done. And uh, anything where the paint touches. So, for this, you can use jewelry cleaner. This is by the Drops. I got this, uh, this is from Walmart. This is a Walmart brand. I'll uh, show you. You just sprinkle it in. I mean, we're going to use a little bit of everything just to show you guys. Uh, just use one, but I'm just showing you. You can use ammonia-free glass cleaner. All right. You can use uh, Simply Green. That works great. Simply Green works great. And these powders, this came from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight actually has their own... Uh, just like this, ultrasonic cleaner. But these powders work good too. So is Barkeeper's Friend. It's it's a powder. 
it does the same thing. It dissolves. You know, we're going to uh, we're going to sprinkle this a little bit in. You don't need a ton. The actually the ultrasonic cleaner does most of the work. Sorry guys, I bumped the camera as I'm standing up here. All right. All right, we're going to blend this up. Just get it to dissolve. It'll actually dissolve all the way once we turn it on and go through the motions of the ultrasonic cleaning. There you go. All right, get my little popsicle stick out of there. All right, now because, like I said, this will fit right in. The needle will fit in because it doesn't see it like a minute. It doesn't fit in the old one I had. Drop that right in. You can actually throw this right on the bottom too. And we're going to go ahead and clean this baby right up. We're going to set it. That's a good time right there. We'll just turn it on. I'm showing you the time. And you can see the pieces dancing around in there without me touching them. And that's uh, the system doing its work. Uh, like I said, you don't really need the basket. I'll do it at the same time when I pull it out to show you guys. Uh, otherwise, you can just use a set of tweezers. Take everything out. It doesn't matter if it touches the bottom, particularly if it's the airbrush. With the, uh, with the Gumpla pieces, I say use the basket. Keeps it off the bottom, gets a little more in there. But with the metal, it goes right through. You can see the vibrations right here. You can go ahead and cap it up. And I hope you guys can still hear me through this mic. All right, we're at 2.42. We're going to let this run its course. I'll pause the camera. We'll take everything out. We'll put it in the dehydrator to dry it up. Anyway, guys, where are we here? 2.33. All right, let me pause the camera, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. Five, four, the old countdown. She's done. Resets back to 280. You can see the steam from the warmth of the heated water. Let's put this out of the way. And there we go. All right, let's get ourselves a paper towel. All right, we're going to put the paper towel on my dehydrator tray. And let's go ahead and take this out. See that? Now we can just dump it right on there and put this aside. All right. Okay. the body of the airbrush and the needle came out really nice I can see already it's cleaned all right the little bits of stuff in the water it's hard for you guys to see but it's a little bit floating around in there it looks good they cleaned up really well what I'm gonna do is dry this off you know much as I can with the paper towel here the needle is actually easy you don't even have to put that in the dehydrator just wipe it and I'm gonna put this in the dehydrator let it dry all the moisture out and we'll go from there now i have a small i have a finer screen that i place these guys on a little piece of plastic that i keep for smaller stuff you know some of it doesn't go through see these little holes these are pretty tiny but uh you can put them in anything um these little bins that i always show you guys i have my spoons in you can put stuff in there the heat gets around everything so it doesn't matter so let me pause this i'll put this in the dehydrator we're going to clean off some gundam parts i'll empty this water out too in the meantime all right, guys, we are back. Another batch of water is going in. I emptied it out. So we're going to put in some more water. This time we're going to clean the gumpla pieces. We'll show you how we do that. Go up to the minimum line. There you go. That is good. All right. Now for this, I'm going to cut a bunch of these out right here. Let's go ahead. Open that up. All right. I'm going to cut these right off of this runner. Don't need to put the probably caps in there, right? Just these. So I'll cut these out. We're going to mix these in to the water. Here we go. First of all, use anything, like I said, um, you can get your hands on. I'll use uh, a couple of drops of this dishwasher liquid. That's personally, I think, the best way to go as far as uh, gumpla pieces go. Just any kind of dishwasher soap. Uh, any kind of hands, any of that soap will work. Even the, even the ones you wash your hands with, if that's all you have, put a squirt in there, you're good to go. Now you're going to mix it up. All right? Now you don't have to degas this one like you would uh, the one for the cleaning the airbrush. Because that's going to get it all inside. This, we're just going to get the grease and the oils off of uh, what was left behind from the manufacturing process. So you don't really have to go crazy. 
as far as degassing goes. You can heat it up if you want. We can go that, level two heat. That's heating it up. And actually you can turn it on and that actually helps mix it up. Can you see the whirlwinds going in there? So uh, once you actually blend it up pretty good, the machine itself will do the rest. You can let that blend, let it do it while you're getting your pieces ready. So we're gonna let that go. Let me cut off these pieces and then we'll start it up again and put the pieces in. All right, let me pause the camera while I cut these off the runner. All right, guys, we are back. It's run its course. Here we go. We're going to take these pieces. Like I said, if you have, uh, you can do a whole master grade practically in one of these, maybe two washes, depending on the size of the kit. You know, I just want to use these so you guys can see it. They're good sized pieces. You know, we're going to submerge them and close these in here. We're going to turn it on. You can see the pieces are dancing around in there already. Put the lid on. And two minutes will do it. I'll show you where we are here. Oh, 90 seconds, already down. Even 90 seconds is good. Minute and a half, two minutes, three minutes. You put it on and walk away. You know, you can set it for two. What I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna put these in the dehydrator. It helps um, from sitting there drying them off or letting them, you know, you can either dry them off with a paper towel, which defeats the purpose. It's like getting your fingers all over them again. I like to take them out and put them right on the, let me get a, get one of my tweezers here. Pull them out with that so you're not touching them again. And the drying process and the dehydrator completes the whole process. So anyway, let me pause the camera, let this run its course, and I'll show you the end. Oop, sorry guys, bumping the camera. Here we are at the very end. And she's done. All right, let's take off our lid. Now, it looks a little silly showing you these few pieces, but what I meant was I can cut all of this and fit them in here. And some of these high grades even go really big with a lot of parts. So uh, it, it, uh, it really uh, did me well getting a larger one and just doing it all in one shot. And everything fits in my big sized uh, dehydrator too. That works great. Everything is for efficiency. So uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna put them on a tray here. So we can actually just tip it if we wanted. So I can see them better. And that's it, we're gonna take them out. Just throw them on this tray. And the dehydrator dries these up beautifully and quickly too. Now you can speed up your process with that too if you want to dampen and dry these, but make sure you got gloves on or else you're defeating the purpose of what we're doing here. All right, guys, let me go put this in the dehydrator, let it run for a couple minutes, and uh, we'll wrap up this video. All right, guys, we're back and we're done. Um, I forgot I had these glass dishes. I get these at uh, the dollar, st dollar store. For my area, it's a Dollar Tree. A buck for like three or four of these things. I got a whole bunch here. And they're just great. I use them for when I'm building one of my gumplers. I'll separate the parts. I use these little cups. Anyway, this was perfect to put them in. The heat's not going to get to the glass in the dehydrator. These are all the parts. I'm not going to build this on camera. It's a little boring and precision-wise. I'm standing up here. I got to get the trigger in just right. But let me show you how nice it came out. Look at that. See if we can get better lighting here. Look at that. Is that great? I mean, it's hard for me to show you guys inside and whatnot, but this will really give you the... Look at that. Let's go this way. Isn't that awesome? So, if you want to make sure on your little nozzle part, let's get the nozzle out of here. And this particular airbrush, the nozzle is, a, is just a two-piece simple thing. You can get these dental cleaners. I get these at Walmart. They're for teeth. They're sensitive. And you go right in there. See that? You can spin that out. Do this uh, in your time leading up to doing a deep clean. This is how you extend your time. You know, do this once a week or even yeah, once a night. I like to clean my airbrush each night. And, you know, the tricky spots that are, are going to give you trouble you know, in, the, in the immediate future of your airbrushing are spots right there where the paint's going to get through. But uh, these things come in handy. But that's it. You reassemble it and you get yourself a brand new airbrush ready to go. Now, for the pieces, same thing. I'll put them in here to present for you guys. Look at that. Nice and air-dried, perfect. Now, if you don't have a dehydrator like I use, just leave them spread out on your desk. Put some paper towel, regular towel. Overnight, you wake up, all will uh, all the water would be evaporated, and you're ready to go. You can stop painting. Make sure you wear gloves. I like uh, this particular brand of glove.
these X3 blacks. I get these on uh, Amazon. Uh, I went with a small because I like them skin tight. I, I can work with the pieces better. Uh, and a medium is good too. But uh, once you start working, once you've cleaned them, make sure you keep your gloves on. You'll be defeating the purpose of degreasing them. All right, guys, let me pause the camera, get this off the bench, and let me wrap this up with my giveaway. All right, guys, I got a few extra of these uh, Gundam Breaker Battlelog kits. Uh, I got like three or four extras of each one. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give one away a week, um, starting with this uh, 00 Command Quan T. Real nice looking suit there. Look at that. Isn't that great? Really good. Not many dark color ones, so it looks great. It really in uh, military looking too with the missile launchers. It's a great looking kit. Anyway, anyway, guys, like the video and leave a comment below. And I'll use a comment picker and randomly pick somebody who's going to get this shipped to their house free. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, pick a winner within a week because next week we're going to do another one, a whole different kit. So uh, stay tuned for that. Anyway, like I said, like the video, leave a comment below. And uh, I will randomly pick a winner from the comments section. And I also want to thank you guys for the success story that was my first paint lineup. My uh, Mecha Empire lineup of paints. And the first set was this anodized aluminum set. If you haven't watched the video, go back and watch it. We've already sold through the first 50 sets. And I believe we got another 25 sets coming in, I think, today or tomorrow. So... If you haven't, go back to the video just before this and check out these paints. They're fantastic. I have more paints coming out very soon. And um, I'm really excited about the second phase of this. And these are my chips that I did of the uh, samples. For each of these, look at how nice. It's uh, anodized aluminum colors. Fantastic. I'm just so proud of these and I want to thank you guys for the absolute great reaction I've gotten from you guys. It's been a great ride so far. Sorry to lean in front of the camera. I'm working on some stickers. and I might even use the logo for some merch. Maybe we'll do some t-shirts with the Mecca Empire logo. Maybe some mugs. Uh, I'll look into that actually pretty soon. And uh, anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching. As I said, like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already because I have a lot more stuff coming up. Uh, a lot more tests coming. Uh, I'll be testing the, uh, uh, let me show you what I'm going to be testing. Mr. Hobby's Acrisian versus the Aqueous. I got the same colors for each. See it? And they're even numbered the same, 13 and 13. So we're going to test both back to back and uh, see which is the better paint. I think that's going to be a great comparison. You know? And uh, as a sneak peek for what's coming up for my next line of paints, one shot candy paint nothing involved you just shoot it once there's no base coat that's the end result out of the bottle how great is that so i'm working diligently on that coming up with a uh, the right colors to do and the right mixtures anyway guys we've spoken enough don't forget uh, if you want that uh, particular ultrasonic cleaner i showed i'll put a link below to that exact model i got it on amazon and it's been a workhorse it's a great product and um you can't go wrong with it, and it's worth having, particularly if you're an airbrush guy and you're building kits. Works for both. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you guys in a few days with another video. Don't forget to comment so you can get a shot at winning that kit, and I'll see you in the next video.